Running to me. You know, I, I think that it, it, it changes. You know, one day it, it, it's a stress reliever. Another day it, it's, it, it's, it's confidence. It's the day that I get to the top of the hill and uh, you know, I'm feeling good. And you know, maybe I'm 10 seconds quicker. You know, and then you, you kind of realize, okay, man, I was moving today. You know, I, I, was, I was floating on the ground. My name is Michael Weish. I am uh, originally from New Zealand. Uh, I now live in Colorado. I was uh, able to qualify for the Olympics. I ran uh, Sydney and uh, ran in Athens as well. As uh, my career kind of uh, grew, I, uh, I slowly moved to the marathon. Pretty much called it quits in about 2010. You know, I decided just to, to keep enjoying running but not competing. It, it, it's weird the progression of things. For the longest time, the marathon was that premier event. You know, if you met a guy that had run a marathon, you know, he was he was that weird runner guy down the down the street. Now it's 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 almost too easy. Trail running, 100 mile races, 50 mile races, that's become that challenge. Mizuno to me is a company that, uh, you know, very true to their roots. They sent out, you know, the guy that, you know, can can tweet things. My name is Doug Smiley. I'm the business unit manager for running footwear at Mizuno USA. I've been working with Michael H on our new trail line, which has been very exciting, a really, really great process through and throughout. He's the guy that actually sat down with me. He explained the differences, breaking them down so, you know, I could understand, you know, what made these shoes better, what made them different, or what was going to make them great. At Mizuno, we really believe in the transformative power of running. We believe in this, this idea of mezumashi. So we believe that we're crafting these tools of transformation. His feedback is very real. He doesn't sugarcoat us. If it came off like it wasn't, uh, you know, what they wanted, then they wanted to know why, and they wanted to fix it. It's not often that people give you a pair of shoes and say, hey, try and break this in a couple weeks. Then, you know, running them and, and feeling that, hey, maybe I did make a difference and this shoe does feel pretty good now. Start at level is like nothing you've ever seen. The organizer's got a shotgun, he's getting ready to start the race. Half the people are facing the wrong direction. There's no concern, there's no hurry. You know, I fire the gun and everybody decides, okay, we'll trickle out the door and get going. Um, as, as things kind of like keep moving, you know, obviously people kind of slot into their, their paces and, and the fields slim out. The big challenge is, is getting to the top of Hope Pass. That's basically 45 miles. You hit the turnaround and um, you know, then you know things change and you go, like, okay, now every step that I can put in front of me, I'm I'm closer to home. I really had no issues. I I, I put the shoes on, I focused on running forward and just went. It, it, it wasn't something I even thought about until after I'd finished the race and I was at home, you know, in bed. And then it occurred to me, you know, I really hadn't thought of my feet the whole day. We need to craft shoes that really are transformative, that just disappear off the foot, that provide these amazing rides, and just deliver experience like nothing else out there. I always like to, to see myself as the average person. I have a full-time job. You know, I've got commitments at home, and, you know, I try and squeeze in running when I can. So it's, it's pretty cool at the end of the day saying this 18-month cycle we went through, this is a collaborative process and we feel like we're delivering an amazing experience. It hasn't got my name on it, but uh, you know, in my mind, it, it's my shoe, I got to make it. I got to you know, have a big input in it and um, you know, I was successful in it before it even got released. So I'll keep it and uh, wear the hell out of it.